you're watching Celtic Fans TV, don't forget to subscribe below. Hello everyone and welcome back to Celtic Fans TV. It is time for the full-time reaction to Hibs now Celtic 2 and another massive step towards an unprecedented third treble in a row. I'm Paul and I'm joined by Scott and we're going to talk over tonight's game. So Scott, um, just start with initial thoughts on the performance. Magic, absolutely brilliant. I mean the first half, not the best game to watch. Bitty, a bit nervous potentially. I noticed a few things. I think we're playing slightly different under Neil Lennon. Mm. He said it wasn't going to change much. I don't think he's changed much, but um, there's a couple of things we'll probably dig into that I, th I think has, has changed recently. Aye, I think it was a, a proper cup tie. I think the weather definitely contributed. I think the, the pitch was holding a bit of water. Um, there were some slide tackles going in. Um, while it wasn't the end to end, both teams were having wee five minute spells here and there. Um, but I thought it settled down in the second half and we really came into our own. Yeah. Um, you touched on it there. Do you think we are seeing uh, some slight differences under Neil Lennon already? Definitely, I think at the back especially. Um, a couple of times I saw Boyata, where normally under Brendan Rodgers, he would try and find a pass, he would hold it for a few seconds, but he's, he's just kind of made, I don't know if you remember, he just made a pass out to the right-hand side, knowing that there was no Celtic player there. Um, so he's basically gave the ball away. I think. I don't think it's nerves, because he's not usually a nervous defender. I think it's just that Neil Lennon said, look, don't play yourself into trouble, get rid of it, don't be embarrassed to just get rid of the ball. So I think that's what it's been. Absolutely. Um, I think a special mention for the players, because we've heard a lot about Neil Lennon, John Kennedy as well, um, after everything that's gone on this week. But the, the players' leader deserted them, walked out on them at a drop mm -hmm. of a hat. Mm -hmm. There hasn't been anything really said for the players, um, yeah. despite uh, Ben and Rogers being here for two and a half year, being a mentor for a lot of them, uh, especially with younger guys. So they've they've had it tough this week as well, but how much credit do they deserve for the two results that they've put in? Massive. Week? Can I just start off with John Kennedy, by the way? Mm. There's obviously a lot of talk about Brendan Rogers leaving and the rest of his coaching staff. I guarantee you he's tried to take John Kennedy with him, but That's that guy deserves a lot of credit, man. a lot of credit because he showed his loyalty to the club. He's doing essentially what Neil Lennon's done. Neil Lennon's come back in a time of need. John Kennedy stayed in a time of need. No doubt been offered to triple his wages, probably the same as everybody else. But the guy's a, a massive Celtic man and uh, credit to him. Aye, look, I think John Kennedy does deserve a lot of credit. I think he's got a job for life at Celtic, mm -hmm. as, as um, we know how his playing career went. I've, heard a lot, I've only heard good things about him uh, in a coaching sense. Um, he's actually got a promotion, obviously. Um, so he's came up by staying assistant manager at Neil Lennon now. So he does, does deserve a lot of credit. But the players for me, two massive away games, two of the toughest away games uh, that we face mm -hmm. going to Edinburgh. And I just think they've been brilliant to, to keep their, their focus, their professionalism, uh, and come out with two wins. I just think they've been absolutely superb. It's massive. I mean, hearts and hibs. Both games, I don't think we've come out looking like we used to under Brendan Rodgers. Um, the passing's slightly different, but psychologically, I was nervous. I was massively mm. nervous. Before these two games, there was not a good feeling around the club, obviously. Um, the worst thing that could have happened is Neil Lennon comes in. Obviously, we've been supporting the guy, which we were obviously going to do. But if he had come in... A draw or, or a loss at Tynecastle would have been huge, mm. and that would have set the tone from here to the rest of the season. Yeah. You think about what the Rangers fans would have been saying about that. It would just be massive pressure for him to then pick up the pieces, not just pick up the pieces for coming into a new job, pick up the pieces from a bad result and then try and grow for there would have been really tough. So massive relief that we got these results. Aye, as you say, psychologically, it's just absolutely massive. Um, because there would have been a wee bit of uncertainty. Um, the players probably feel let down as well, as I've already touched on. So, mm. psychologically, absolutely massive to get the late win at the Tyne Castle and then to put that performance in today where Hibs didn't really threaten us at all mm. in an attacking sense. Um, and we scored two great goals, by the way. Two absolutely great goals. Uh, last one on tonight, then, who's your man of the match? Uh, you got to get Scott Brown. Mm. Um, you're never going to see the guy score a tap in, are you? <laughs> it's Rose Ed, our, our top bag. Yeah. So, got to go to Scott Brown. Um, he won the ball in the midfield. Um, 
puts a good ball down the left, ends up with again. I think Edward, to be honest, was a bit greedy there. Mm. Um, he had a couple of balls to play people through. So I thought we'd lost the chance, but Scott Brown's kind of cropped up and, and scored another screamer. He done, he done well with the rebound and then Edward to, to give it into Brown yeah. um, and the rest I Absolutely brilliant. Defensively as well, um, he was sweet him up. He, 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 entered, he intercepted a few balls up to Canberra as well. Um, aye, he was absolutely brilliant. Mm, spot on. And look, it's finished now. We can forget about him. Mm. It's gone and he who shall not be spoken of. But it's just huge for the club and we even got a wee rendition over and over at the end which I think is a it's a song that we only hear in Defiance yeah um, 100% it wasn't so much Defiance as like solidarity yeah. we heard that at the end of the game and I thought um, that was a nice way to end off this week for the fans because it just highlights that we are to be there for the club exactly and, and we'll always be there yeah managers will come and go players will come and go but we're always there to keep the club going that's it and that is as good a note to end on as any um, you know what to do, like the video, comment your own thoughts on the game below and don't forget to subscribe, it's that big red button down there. Um, I asked on Wednesday at Tynecastle that we were chasing down 12,000, I think we're nearly at 12,500 now so it's absolutely incredible. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and jump over to get uh, some Twitter reactions as well. Thank you.